Hi, welcome to the Annie's YouTube channel. My name's Caitlin, and today we're going to be talking about the tobacco basket that came in the most recent uh, Creative Women's Kit of the Month Club. What we're gonna do today is talk about the project, what you can do with some of your leftovers, and what else you can kind of hang inside your basket to make it your own. I hope you'll join me, and if you aren't already part of the Creative Women's Kit of the Month Club, check down in the description box and you'll see how to sign up. Now that you have your beautiful tobacco basket done, um, whether you whitewashed it or not, um, you have this beautiful basket with this great um, olive wreath that came with it in the kit. Now I just wanted to show you that there are a couple options of what you could do with this. Um, it is having you put this wreath in here, which is really great, but what you could do is you could actually change things out for different seasons, different holidays, um, different occasions, or just because you want to make a change. So let me show you some of the ideas I came up with. So here's your original that you got with your kit. And then last month we made these really great floral hoop um, felt flower wreaths. And you could actually put this inside. It's the perfect size. This is the smaller hoop. And this would also make a really great addition um, for your basket and something different to change it up with. Again, if you're adding words in here, you could say like hello spring or change up your colors for fall or winter or whatever else. And so that really allows you to change it out. We talked about making these great little trivets and if you color them, you could also hang those at some different lengths, put three or four of them in there. And along with those, you could make small hoops like we did uh, with the felt flowers and you could write something on here, put a season, put hello, something like that. And you could hang these at different intervals so you've got multiple things hanging in here as well. You could also find some pre-made items like signs that say words on them um, or seasons or anything like that and be able to put them inside here and change them up for different seasons or different events that you have going on. So there really are a lot of possibilities with this and you don't always have to keep this wreath that you got with the kit. Although it's beautiful and you can leave it in all the time, you do have some options of different ways of making this your own project and decorating your house. You're done with your tobacco basket project you've got a bunch of these mini clothespins left over so what we're going to do is we're going to make some crafts out of this so that we don't have any waste or leftover from this project so the first thing we're going to make is this cute little trivet coaster um, or even something that you could hang an ornament kind of depending on how you want to decorate it so we're just going to talk about the basics and then your embellishments can take off from there so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your clothespin and you're going to take the spring out of it, leaving you with the two parts and the spring. We're gonna put the spring aside for now. We're gonna use that for another project a little bit later. Uh, and we're just gonna use these wooden pieces here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun and you're gonna put a bead of glue down your clothespin and then you're gonna put your two pieces together. And you want them to line up so that the thick part is on the same side and the pointed end is on the same side, giving you this nice little wedge piece. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do this a couple of times so that you start to get multiple pieces. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start to glue them together. To do this, once you have these pieces together, you're going to put a little bit of glue just on this top section here. So we're just gonna put some glue right here, like that. And then we're gonna take this piece and we are going to push them together. And this is going to start forming our ring. So once we get that piece on, we'll take our next piece and we'll continue to glue them together like this until you get all the way around. Now you will notice here that we have just a single piece uh, to fill in that gap. So again, you'll just put a little glue on both sides and stick it in there. Now you have a couple options for decorating this. You could leave it this natural color, which is really beautiful um, and would be great for a Christmas tree ornament as a little snowflake uh, because it will really stand out against the green of the tree. You could use the little holes here to be able to fish through some wire or a little bit of string to be able to hang it. Um, you could also paint this a color, maybe white to be a snowflake and add some glitter to it if you 
you want it to be a decoration. Or this is also a great little trivet uh, that you can put on your desk, on your table, and use them as coasters, as a hot pad for a hot dish. Um, there's really a lot of great uses for this. Another thing that you can do is you could take this and maybe you still have some brown acrylic paint that you could water down and paint it so it looks stained um, or paint it your favorite color to match the decor of your home. And you could stick some string or wire through here and you can actually hang this inside your Tabasco tobacco basket um, as a decoration instead of the wreath that came in it. So you could grab a couple more of the clothespins, maybe a larger clothespin, a medium clothespin, and these small ones, and make different sizes, different colors, and hang them all in your tobacco basket as a different option for what to work on. We just talked about using your clo clothespins to make this really cute trivet or hanging ornament or anything um, that you'd like with it. And we have these springs left over. So let's turn that into a little ornament as well for Christmas time, making this cute little star. To start off, you're going to take your springs and we have to connect them. So I'm going to take the spring side and we're going to stick it into here. And I'm just ever so slightly going to push this open with my finger enough that I can just slide that on. And then I'm going to pull this side open and stick it in. And if it doesn't quite get in there, you might have to pull these open a little, adjust it so that it becomes flush in there. And you're going to continue to add them together until you have 10 of them put together. And so I'm gonna just take this and spread them apart a little bit and slide this on. Oops. And stick it my other side. Okay, so then you have all 10 of them. And now we need to bring it together to form a ring. So we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. Just sliding one end through, pulling the other end open and sticking it right in there. Okay, so now we have this nice little ring and we need to go ahead and shape it into the star. Now this can take a little fiddling with it to get it the way you want it but you're gonna start by making a point at the top and then bringing out your next two points and bringing out your bottom point. And again, just kind of play with it till you get it the right shape that you want it to be. And you'll notice that there is a little bit of a difference in these two stars. So you're gonna have one side that's a little bit smaller and one side that's a little bit larger. It might be a little hard to see here, but you'll see it when you work it. And so I'm choosing to have the side that goes in a little bit to be my back side and the more open side to be my front. So I'm going to have my back side facing up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this into place by using a little bit of hot glue into all of these joints so that when we hang it on our Christmas tree um, or hang it from whatever, you can just hang it as a regular ornament um, in your house, at your desk, whatever you may like. Um, we just don't want it to come apart as it hangs. So once you get it into the shape that you want, that you like, and again, it's just a matter of fiddling with it to kind of get it where you want it, we're going to take our glue gun and we're going to glue down into each one of these spots. So I'm just going to take my glue gun and put, I'm going to stick it on here just in case so I don't get glue everywhere. Um, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on these joints and I'm just going to go around and put it on each one. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you're trying to get it down into the hole and covering up the top. If you only get it on part, like half of the, you don't get it on both sides or both coils, uh, you will run the risk of it coming apart anyway because the glue won't be stuck to both. And again, this is the back side, so you don't have to be as worried about how pretty it is, but I am trying to control where I'm putting my glue as best I can. Um, a precision point tip is always great for a project like this, if you have one. If not, any glue gun will work. Um, and then so once you have that oops, glued together, I'm just gonna let that dry until the glue hardens up. 
And here you can see my glue dots on the back. I'm just kind of covering the connection or the joint so that it doesn't come apart. It's it will gonna it is going to be able to move a little bit, um, but you're not going to go back to that complete circle easily. And then I just took a piece of ribbon, ribbon, I strung it through the top point, tied a little knot, and now I have this really cute ornament to hang on a Christmas tree or put on a package um, or even hang in your tobacco basket as another option um, or addition to what you hang in your basket. Once you've used your extra clothespins to make your trivet or ornament um, and your little star, you're still gonna have four clothespins left. So I wanted to show you one more idea of what you could do with those additional clothespins. So right here, I have this little board that's a string art project um, that has my clothespins here on the bottom. And then you can take and put your photographs in here, little reminder notes. Um, this you could hang on a refrigerator, on your wall, on a door, wherever you want to. So let's go through the process of making. Once you have your letters on, you're going to rub it with a tool to get it to stick. And then we're gonna start working on the heart. I taped mine down with tape so that I would know where it is, and then I started to place the nails in evenly around. Uh, if you made the birdhouse with us from the Creative Women's Kit Club a couple months ago, that's the same type of nail that you're gonna want to use, and you're just gonna use your hammer to evenly space out the nails as we go. Once you have your nails where you want them, you're gonna start, I started up here and I tied a little knot. I'm using yarn because that's what I had on hand, very thin yarn. Um, you could use embroidery floss, you could use any other kind of threading material that you have. You could even use wire if you have colored wire um, to give it a really different look. And so I tied it on up here and I just zigzagged my way back and forth across the entire heart uh, to get it kind of full and you could add more on if you want it or less on uh, depending on how detailed you want your heart to be. When I was done, I went around each of the pegs doing an E-wrap, so just going around and around and around each one of these pegs to give it this nice little line across the top. Then I went ahead and I tied it off down here at the end and I put a little bit of super glue on both sides so that it wouldn't come undone, but I came in from the bottom so you don't see it and then your string art portion is done. Next, you'll want to take your clothespins and using some hot glue, I put it on the back side and then stuck them in the places that I wanted it. I just stuck them where they kind of fit in with my wording. Um, you could place them out before you start your word if you wanted to, um, but I wanted to make sure my word fit the whole board, so I started with that and then just glue my clothespins on uh, where they fit. I also took some ribbon and hot glued those on as well so that we would have a way to hang it. You could also put um, a hanger, a metal hanger on the back like you do for uh, photographs or picture frames. Um, you could use other ribbon, you could use rope, you could use kind of any material that you want here uh, to be able to attach it so that you can hang it. Once you're done adding your clothespins on and your way of hanging it, you're finished and you have this beautiful string art piece with your word. If you don't want to add your clothespins, you don't have to, and you could just have this as a hanging, or you could just have it propped up on a wall or something like that if you wanted to, or just use the word and hang it. Um, but with the clothespins, it allows you to hang little notes for your loved ones, or maybe pictures of your favorite people, or projects that you've worked on, or your Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning some of these additional projects and how you can make this tobacco basket your own. Again, if you aren't already part of the subscription, please see below in the description box. Make sure to subscribe and to like this video so then you'll get notifications on when we have new videos coming out. Don't forget that the Creative um, Women's Kit of the Month Club comes every month with all of the supplies that you need to make each of the items that are in each of the kits. So be sure to come back and check out what the newest kit is here with me.